In this video, we are discussing measures of central tendency distribution shapes. So, in the previous video, we have discussed what is mean, median, mode and also mid-range. So, summary of the measures of the central tendency. So, you want to put everything into one table. So, mean that is the sum of value divided by the total number of values. So, in case of population, it will be represented by mu. In case of sample, it will be represented by x bar. Median, middle point in the data set that has been ordered. So, middle point of the data set where the data set has been ordered and it will be denoted by capital M capital D M D. Mode, that is the most frequent data value. It will be represented by there is no such specific symbol is given. In case of mid range, that is the lowest value plus highest value within the data set divided by 2 and it will be represented by m r. Now, consider this respective distribution shapes. So, here it is c, it is our positively skewed or right skewed. In this case, what will happen? This particular, this particular bar, this particular bar will have the highest frequency. So, the mode will be existing here. Median will be there and the mean value will be existing in this respective class. So, here you can find that we have drawn histograms and this mode is that very particular class which is having the highest frequency. That is why this is the mode here. Median will be lying in this particular class in this lower and upper limits and mean will be existing here. So, in case of positively skewed or right skewed, the mode median mean they will be appearing in this respective classes. Now, we will be going for the next distribution shape that is symmetric. In that case, the middle one, the middle class is having the maximum frequency. So, the mode will be existing here along with median and mean. But in case of negatively skewed or left skewed, you can find this one, the mode will be coming in this particular class and median will be there and mean will be here. So, in this way, we have discussed that in case of measure of central tendency, how the distribution shapes will play a vital role and from the distribution shape, we can easily guess the respective modal class or the class in which the mean and median will be existing. Thanks for watching this video.